the belly of faraway land where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight there's scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Charlie. And I'm Isla, our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here is our reporter Karen with more. I'm here at a faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you've been charged with destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Well, as you can see right now, Mr. Wolf is busy, so I'll be answering the first question for him. Um, in my opinion, this is false information. Mr. Wolf has caught a cold over the past week, leading for him to, leading for him to be stuck in his house, so there's no way of blowing down a house. You've been caught impersonating a grandmother and a sheep. Who really is the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf's identity will never be revealed. I can be anyone or anything at any time. I might not even be the big bad wolf. What do you have to say to the people of a faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? You better all pray I don't escape jail. You better all pray. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Good luck with your trial. Wolf, Wolf, back to the studio. Now, for news of escaped kidnap heroes Hansel and Gretel, their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in the new in the new book Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs: The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Chelsea was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, I'm Chelsea and here with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? We will probably spend it on a mansion and publishing our book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, which you can find in bookstores worldwide. I'll probably buy lots of expensive dresses and makeup. Hansel... You're back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? I just don't eat sweets anymore, so I can't remember about all the trauma that witch gave me. Yeah, me neither. Sweets, I no go. What have you learned through this experience? Don't trust strangers and always carry pepper spray. And Candy's house tastes pretty prestige. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck on your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We now go to our reporter, Sadie. Hello. Thanks Charlotte and hello everyone, I'm Sadie here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. Hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two complete opposites fell in love against all the odds. How's it going with you two? Get your filthy hands off me. So technically he kidnapped my dad, but when I first saw him I knew it was love at first sight. She came into my castle without my permission and and I and I knew well I thought the same but all I knew that I was wrong you know you loved me whatever you're something of a beauty beauty and you're a total beast beast what's the reality of living with someone completely op different from you every single day She's, she's singing and it's a really hard life for me. Well, this big guy doesn't even do the dishes. All he does is sleep and eat and he takes up the whole couch. Your recent duet album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Honeymoon! Excuse me, I thought that I was the love of your life. You were, but not anymore. Why don't you love me?
Thank you, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sadie. Now it's time for a far away weather update with George and Hart. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there'll be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep, dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it will be freezing. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might, wa <laughs> might want to find a be beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks, George and Harsh. That's all for tonight, although we've just had word that the Big Bad Wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Toodles! Toodles.